हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू टेक यूब गेट क्लासेस माय नेम इज प्रोफेसर विवेक सिंह राठौर एंड आई एम टेकिंग सिग्नल्स एंड सिस्टम सब्जेक्ट इन दिस वीडियो लेक्चर्स आई हैव टेकन ऑलमोस्ट थ्री वीडियो लेक्चर एंड आई हैव कंप्लीटेड द बेसिक ऑपरेशंस ऑन एलिमेंट्री सिग्नल्स सम पोर्शन वाज लेफ्ट इन द लास्ट लेक्चर व्हिच आई विल कंप्लीट नाउ सो देयर आर सम ऑपरेशंस लाइक टाइम शिफ्ट स्केलिंग एंड टाइम रिवर्सल on unit step and ramp signal and what are the effects when we do differentiation and integration on these uh, elementary signals what will be the effect we will find out it so let's get started with our first thing that uh, see uh, when we do the operations time scaling and time reversal okay uh, in signals such as uh, unit step and ramp what Uh, happens and in uh, our uh, unit impulse what happens so let's uh, do it one by one first we'll do in unit steps okay <coughs> unit step signal is there okay i think this is equal to zero this is unit step signal when we'll uh, when we do unit uh, time scaling so what happens actually uh, because as you know when we do time scaling we just divide uh, by uh, all time domain that part with a okay that is a scaling factor here also we'll do that same and then the signal will be like this okay <coughs> so there will be nothing change in both signal both signals are equal so there is uh, nothing is nothing happens when we do time scaling to a unit step signal first point to be noted down okay second if you do time reversal also what happens this is our ut signal when we do time reversal on unit step signal it becomes u minus t so you know uh, when we do time reversal what we do is just we need to uh, Uh, we need to rotate it across 180 degree line that is uh, uh, means uh, uh, across 180 degree axis across our y axis actually so here what uh, what happens it becomes like this signal and this is 1 t is equal to 0 so you can see uh, the change in uh, in time reversal so there is an absolute change no no uh, problem with that so now we'll do this operations on ramp signal so uh, let's plot first our ramp signal this is i think at t is equal to 0 there is a change of slope okay so this is called as ramp signal and it is represented as r of t okay now what we can do is if we have to shift r t minus uh, no, not shifting actually we need to do time scaling so we need to do r at then what will happen actually uh, what will happen it will look like this only the slope will change for uh, it is if slope is 1 then it will be a how come it happens so let's check actually uh, when mathematically we will uh, see r t so you will look like it is a slope mt plus c m is 1 maybe uh, if you calculate here it you will look like m is equal to 1 and c is equal to 0 so it will look like r t is equal to t for t is greater than 0 and it is 0 for t is less than 0 this is basically ramp signal okay now what you can do if you need to do r of at then actually what you are doing you are doing t uh changes to at so wherever it is there you can need to change so at is there for at greater than 0 and 0 for t is uh, at is less than 0 so uh, this you can simplify it as r at okay for equal to at t is greater than 0 because at is greater than 0 t is greater than 0 no problem and then you can uh, do it as t is less than 0 a 0 so uh, now r at r t is this r at is this this is the thing uh, see now it came m is equal to a means what means the slope will be changes from 1 to a so what will be the scaling factor that will be your uh, the slope now uh, let's suppose 
your magnitude scaling it okay so uh, earlier what we were doing we were doing time scaling time scaling means we have done t is tending to 80 now what we are doing we are just multiplying some scaling factor in front so that is called uh, uh, magnitude uh, magnitude scaling okay so magnitude scaling may uh, if rt is t t greater than 0 0 t is less than 0 if we multiply a in front of it what we will get a into rt is equal to a into t for t is greater than 0 0 for t is less than 0 is it not the same thing which we have done uh, calculated for r of 80 if you find the same thing then you can conclude as when an uh, ramp signal is time scaled it is same equal to magnitude scale of ramp signal that is uh, r this is our rt okay at t is equal to 0 uh, this is called as rt and now when you uh, time scale you need to change the slope and the slope uh, will be the scaling factor r a t so uh, scaling slope will be a and when we do ma magnitude scaling of r t uh, means a into r t you what you need to do basically you need to change the slope only slow uh, change of slope will be in front of rt okay so here also change of slope is there so uh, ultimately what you have concluded that magnitude scaling of uh, ram signal and time scaling is uh, always same okay but uh, where you will find difference let's see uh, let's suppose time scaling of uh, uh, time reversal of ram signal so when we will do r of minus t what will happen actually your r of t was like this and now you are calculating for r of minus t you will get r of minus t like this this is actually a time reversal so maybe you can tell it as you, you have uh, time scaled it with a is equal to minus 1 you can tell it so uh, the formula or the thing which we have concluded here doesn't satisfy for negative okay so you cannot uh, tell it as r of uh, minus 2t will be same as equal to minus 2 of rt it, it won't because see r of minus 2t what we will do see r of t is this okay r of 2t will be like this with the slope 2 okay r of 2t and uh, change will be uh, here means uh, r of minus 2t okay okay but uh, uh, here i think uh, now when you plot is as uh, minus 2 into rt what you, you will get see uh, rt is there okay uh, minus uh, i think 2 into rt first you will plot so this uh, slope will be 2 into uh, 2 into rt and now you'll have to do it with minus means magnitude scaling with minus so what will happen it will just uh, plot it like this okay it will plot it like this this is called minus 2 rt so you can understand this minus 2 of rt and uh, r of uh, minus 2t this one is entirely different so we can conclude it as uh, r of minus a t doesn't equal to minus a of r t okay but uh, normal r of a t can be written as a into r of t this two thing you need to uh, just uh, understand the concept okay so now uh, we'll see time reversal and time scaling property uh, effect on unit impulse signal so let's get started uh, unit impulse signal it is represented as almost like this t is equal to 0 and it is mathematically represented as delta t is equal to uh, is equal to 0 for t is not equal to 0 and is not equal to 0 for t is equal to 0 this is uh, uh, delta t okay now what we can do is we can implement and uh, for and second thing if you uh, need to calculate it delta t dt you will get 
it as one okay so this uh, seeing this stroke property we can see uh, what are the effect of time scaling and time reversal so see uh, first we'll see time uh, reversal okay so see delta t is nothing but like this t is equal to zero okay and if you see delta of minus t you will get the same thing because the same reversal will happen at t is equal to zero only it is there so there is absolutely no change when we do time reversal property on unit impulse signal okay <coughs> then uh, now we need to see what is the effect of time scaling so if you do delta t uh, to delta of let's suppose scaling factor is b okay so bt what will happen actually this is delta t t is equal to zero okay and this is uh, area okay the amplitude is area so what will happen uh, it will be t is equal to zero only, but the area will be changed to one by b. Okay, what will be the scaling factor that uh, one by b uh, area will come? How it came? So let's see. Actually, what happens? <coughs> uh, we'll take an example uh, because unit impulse signal. Uh, can be generated from many signal that's why it is called as generalized signal so first we will see from let's see from a rectangular pulse how we can generate our uh, unit impulse signal so let's see we have taken uh, signal uh, from here to here let it it will be minus a by 2 to a by 2 and okay and it is 1 by a so uh, you as you can see it as uh, whenever we are tending limit a tending to 0 okay a tending to 0 what will happen minus a by 2 minus 0 it will come minus 0 means at t is equal to 0 and 1 by 0 is infinite right? so this signal when we will do limit a tending to 0 means whenever a will be reduced then this signal will appear as impulse signal okay so uh, like same way you can do from uh, triangular pulse also wherever height and width are inversely proportional you can get your impulse signal that is why it is called as generalized uh, function because uh, uh, it can be calculated from uh, or it can be generated from many other signals but now what we are doing is see this is this is your uh, impulse signal ultimately when limit a tending to 0 the signal will be there then you will get your impulse signal that is delta of t okay now what we are uh, what we want to see is we need to calculate delta of bt uh, scaling factor so let uh, uh, do it once again and you know uh, whenever we do time scaling so we need to just divide the scaling factor by all these values so we'll do it my, uh, this is minus a by 2 so minus a by 2 into b just we have divided uh, a by 2 into b okay and the uh, magnitude will remain the same now see here uh, what will what was the area you can calculate uh, half into base into height okay half base is what uh, it is not a triangular only base into height we can do area so base uh, width is minus a by 2 a by 2 overall a into height is there 1 by a so 1 by a this is so area was 1 it was a impulse signal and area was 1 okay now just calculate this signal area so you will get it as uh, minus a by 2b plus a by 2b means a by b you will get and uh, height is 1 by a so 1 by a you will get answer is 1 by b so what is uh, what we have concluded is whenever in impulse signal we are doing just a time scaling property of uh, scaling factor b you you are getting area as 1 by b okay so that is why i told you whenever we will do delta bt you will get the area as 1 by b into delta t because uh, in front of impulse signal you generally write the area of that signal okay uh, i told you earlier also see uh, just be clear first unit step signal okay in front of what, unit step whatever is magnitude that step change uh, it it represent that step change okay step change value is represented by the magnitude in front of U, ut whenever rt is written in front of this sub magnitude is there that represent 
uh, slope change okay slope change is there that you can see in front of this and whenever whatever magnitude is in front of delta t that represent area change okay so area will be represented in front of this so uh, delta vt uh, represent delta signal delta t signal only just area is uh, changed to 1 by b hai na so this you can i think you can conclude by time scaling what happens okay see now if you do multi uh, magnitude scaling what will happen magnitude scaling of impulse signal uh, impulse impulse signal okay okay so uh, let let's do something uh, i think a into i think a not b into delta t what will do first our uh, impulse signal was there at t is equal to 0 and what we have done we have mult magnitude we have multiplied with our unit impulse signal you will get the area uh, here it as b okay so uh, so here you will get your area equal to uh, b because uh, you know that uh, whatever multiply uh, is there or magnitude is there in front of delta t that will be uh, giving us area so magnitude scaling if you do magnitude scaling of impulse signal you will get the area uh, you will actually multiply or uh, you will do uh, scaling with that uh, area so uh, if you, we have multiplied b so you will get the area is equal to b and this is it shows area only okay so now i think <coughs> you can uh, uh, write it down as delta of bt is equal to 1 by b of delta t but as you know that uh, there is no, no uh, effect of time reversal on delta t so when you will do delta of minus bt then also you will get 1 by b of delta t uh, that means that whatever your scaling factor will be there okay plus or minus you will get the magnitude as positive only so this uh, relation can be uh, proved okay so this relation uh, you should know you should understand uh, uh, better in a better way okay so i think uh, that was uh, for time scaling and time reversal for both uh, type uh, all type of signal you have we have seen unit impulse unit step and unit ramp also now one thing is there see uh, whenever we do multiply uh, any signal with uh, our uh, unit impulse what happens actually see uh, let's suppose one signal is there let's suppose this is there and uh, we do multiply ft with delta t suddenly uh, we'll do multiply with t is equal to 0 delta t what happens if we multiply any signal with delta t suddenly what happens uh, because see multiplication means all other part will be multiplied with this and uh, uh, at t is not equal to 0 this is equal to 0 the all values are 0 so nothing will happen at t is equal to 0 only this value exists so uh, this value will exist at t is equal to 0 only the point will exist whatever ft is there but ft which value at t is equal to 0 so mathematically you can write it as ft into delta t will be equal to f no 0 because uh, ft now it will exist for only t is equal to 0 into delta t okay so this value you should uh, remember uh, or i can write it out down as ft whenever it is multiplied by delta t minus a whatever a may be okay so it will exist the function will exist for f of a only okay f of a only uh, for delta t minus a okay it is it can be represented as uh, ft is there okay ft is there and it is going on like this uh, it is multiplied by delta t minus a so t is equal to a the signal is there so the signal will exist at t is equal to a only and the value is f no uh, f a okay so f a into delta t minus a this you can calculate it down so many questions in gate uh, this question have been asked with respect to this uh, formula only so you must uh, understand and you can solve it as now last property we uh, which we need to see is differentiation and integration of signals if you uh, see our elementary signals differentiation and integration what happens to them 
okay so there is a close relation between one and uh, each one okay so we'll need to see it as see uh, if you see ram signal this is our ram signal this is rt okay and uh, uh, when we see our unit step signal this is our unit step signal one ut okay so uh, if you see rt it will be equal to m of t okay m of t you can see uh, m t plus c was already there let's see it is m t plus c maybe some c values there we uh, constant will be what when we do differentiation with ram signal what you'll get you will get m only okay just you need to do differentiation you will get d by dt is equal to uh, d by dt rt is equal to m uh, m is nothing but a magnitude or any value okay let's suppose two values there uh, it was 2t plus c so answer is 2 only so it is a just a value okay and it is uh, lying from t is, uh, after t is greater than 0 so it will be like this okay m value is there so m is constant and it will appear after t is equal to 0 only and it will be like this so uh, and the value will be m only eh? where the value will be m so what we can calculate it as uh, you can see the differentiation of ram signal you will get a unit step signal okay unit step or uh, step signal uh, of uh, magnitude m so uh, first thing what we have uh, concluded is the differentiation of ram signal will get a step signal okay so uh, ut is nothing but ut is nothing but d by dt of rt this first equation which we have got now okay now what will happen uh, if you do if you do uh, unit step only let's suppose unit step signal is there and uh, ut is equal to nothing but some uh, values are there and uh, uh, so this is a unit step signal and uh, when you see our ram signal ram signal delta t is equal to at t is equal to 0 some values there and uh, if you math mathematically write it down as uh, as uh, equal to 0 for t is not equal to 0 and is equal to, is not equal to 0 for t is equal to 0 when we integrate it when we integrate our uh, impulse signal you will get a uh, constant value that is 1 okay so here where what we get is when we integrate our unit impulse signal you will get a, it as <coughs> uh, step signal so there is a uh, change uh, there is a link between all these signal means if you do d by dt of rt you will get a unit step signal but when you will do d by dt of unit step signal you will get a impulse signal so there is a relation between them okay this you need to see it okay so these all relation can be explained uh, these question uh, many questions are asked on these relations also so let's do one question uh, for practicing and then you can practice by your own and uh, the questions which you find difficulty you can uh, write it down in comment section or you can uh, contact us so see uh, let's see one question this question is there and we need to calculate or find integral of that okay so uh, one question we'll see and uh, there is a impulse signal okay let at min t is equal to minus 4 the value is 5 okay. and uh, at t is equal to minus 1 the value is minus 8 at t is equal to minus 1 okay and uh, at t is equal to 2 the value is 3 at t is equal to 2 this much values are given and uh, we, you have to find out find the integral of the signal now see these questions are based on the relation which we have discussed so as you know this is a impulse signal and impulse signal integral if you do you will get a unit step signal okay so step signal you will get so <coughs> From there, you can calculate it as uh, unit step signal you will get. So, whatever there is a uh, step change or variation is there, uh, whatever quantity is there, that much step change will happen. So, let's see, at t is equal to minus 4, at t is equal to minus 4, you have to do step change of 5. So, there is a, at t is equal to minus 4, there is a step change of 
5 okay so we can do it as like this this value will be 5 and this will go on go on go on go on up till when it will go on at t is equal to minus 1 there is a step change of 8 values are there okay 8 values minus 8 means it will be downward and it will be 8 step change will be there so let's do at t is equal to minus 1 uh, there will be a step change of 8 so already uh, if you calculate here 5 step change are in positive disha, uh, direction and then 3 uh, in negative overall 8 step change will happen so minus 3 will happen and it will go on like go on up till when it will go on it will go on till uh, at t is equal to 2 there is a step change of, at, uh, of 3 so at t is equal to 2 uh, it will go on at t is equal to 2 okay uh, there is a step change of 3 so it will go uh, 3 okay so th uh, this is the integral of this signal how we can do it because how we have done it because as you know the integral of uh, unit impulse is unit step and uh, these values are sh uh, shown these value are representing the step change so we uh, we can plot it down and uh, we can all, all uh, write it also uh, like uh, here 5 u of t uh, plus 4 okay and then minus of uh, 8 minus of 8 u t plus 1 and then uh, plus 3 u t minus 2 so 5 plus 3 8 minus 8 0 total finite signal is there finite duration signal and this you can plot so uh, 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 either way of uh, uh, graphical or in mathematical you can plot it down so this was the integral uh, sig uh, signal and this was the relation so this was uh, it for uh, this lecture from next lecture we will deal with uh, what are the classifications of signal because already we have uh, uh, we have read uh, many operations performed on elementary signals now we will go for classification of signals and then classification of systems so from next lecture we will do it so for this lecture this much only till then tata bye bye see you have a good day